And you're gonna go, <laughs> try to guess what your moon sign is. I don't, you, it could be any of the 12 signs. This is how your mother treated you. Is it like a full moon? Is that one of them? Well, that is not the, no, it's like one of the signs like Aries, Taurus, oh. Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra, Scorpio. Cetera, guess what Saturn, now? Aquarius, Pisces. Try to guess one of those signs is your is one of your moon signs. One of those, that's your inner being, your mind, your emotions. I say Leo. <laughs> uh, no, but that's close, I guess. Your moon is in Cancer. It means really? You, it means you project your emotions. It means you're really emotional inside. It means that your mom was mothering and nourishing. She wasn't a bitch. She was awesome. So yeah. there you fucking go. You have an awesome mom. Yeah. See, that confirms. Still awesome. Your mom is the mothering, nourishing type of mom. <laughs> you didn't have no fucking troubles. That's always a good mom. Your Mercury's inside shares. It's how you think and communicate. Your Venus is what you're looking for in a relationship and how you act and stuff. It's Venus and Aquarius, so you want a friend first and know things. Your Mars is your sex expression and how you get mad. Your Mars is an Aries, so you have a quick temper and you explode and you have, you're good at quickies and uh, you're athletic and you do things without thinking to get things done and you're fast. Your Jupiter is an Aquarius, that means you're very lucky with knowing astrology if you aim at it, right? Right. And stuff that's all knowing and being humanitarian. Your Saturn is your how your dad was with you too. What do you think that is? The sign. Not mm. that your dad's sign has anything to do with it, just right. that he treated you. Maybe a uh, burger. Oh, you think he was critical and stuff on you? Mm. Mm. Sometimes. And treated and, and taught you chores and day to day routines. Nope. Your Saturn's in Cancer, so he's a mother and nourishing dad too. And they, they really he's not, not all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time in the bad type of way. Man, not growing up. Plus, this never. also could take away your house. Like he could take away. He could take, give you the family, and then he could take away your family. You had to be. That's kind of weird because he helped me buy the house. I'm I was in with my family, and now he lives there, and I live in back behind him. But that's weird. Pretty close. And your Uranus is in Libra. Wow, your revelations are really, really, with relationships and your futures. Really, you're normal and you're weird. Um, <laughs> Neptune is in Sagittarius. At least I'm normal. <laughs> your Pluto's in Libra. So when you isolate yourself, you have to be with somebody. You go, you, oh, yeah. you, you don't just go alone to isolate yourself. You, you isolate yourself around somebody. That's dangerous going on. <laughs> and your North Node is in Sagittarius. You came here to gain characteristics of all the things that Sagittarius is role, like traveling, gambling, being your ego itself, gain your ego. And you, you let go of the Gemini part. You already learned how to communicate with the others. And, I had to work on my ego. Ego was bad. Really? That's crazy. Well, that's what you came here to gain. You're going to do that through your whole entire life because that's just how it goes. And. Yeah, but you can. At least I recognize some of it now. That's Shut down. crazy. Well, they're also in houses, but I don't see it on this dumb website. This website sucks. But yeah, I've been the only one that's phone will actually help. Name in high school, nickname in high school. <laughs> So Saturn, it pretty good. Your Saturn, I think, might be in one, two, three, the fourth house. Or no, you're confused. Maybe your Jupiter's in the fourth house, or your Saturn. Oh, wait, no, your Saturn might be in the fourth house. That's of your home. So it can be taken away from you, like we already discussed. Okay. Toodle, boo.